Hi everyone. The objective of today's lesson is to learn how to find the sum of all numbers formed from a given set of digits. While most books will give you just the formula, we will learn the logic behind that formula so that you may handle any question on the topic confidently even if there is some other constraint. We are going to take four digits. In the first case, we need to sum up all the four digit numbers that can be formed using the digits 6, 5, 2 and 8. And in the second case, we have the digits 6, 2, 2 and 8. As you can see, one of the digits is repeating here. So there is no general formula which we can apply to this question. But if you know the basics, I promise you can solve this question in no time. So let us begin. Our first question is, what is the sum of all four digit numbers which can be formed using the digits 6, 5, 2 and 8? So friends, the first step in such questions is to estimate the total number of arrangements of these digits. We have four digits to be arranged, 6, 5, 2 and 8. Together, they will occupy four places. Total number of four digit numbers will simply be equal to the total number of ways in which these four places can be filled with these digits. The first place can be filled in four ways. The second in three ways because one of the digits is already used up for the first place. The third place can then be filled in two ways. And for the last place, there would be only one digit left. So it could be filled in only one way. By using the fundamental rule of counting, these four places can be filled in 4 into 3 into 2 into 1. That is 4 factorial ways. 4 factorial is equal to 24. Therefore, there are 4 factorial or 24 numbers that are possible. Next step is to sum up the positional values of all digits in all those numbers. So just to have some clarity in our thought process, let us revisit how addition of these numbers works. And I won't take all 24 numbers, but a sample of 4 or 5 numbers out of these. So what do you think will be the smallest number? Smallest digit 2 first, then 5, then 6, and then 8. 2, 5, 6, 8 will be the smallest of these numbers. And the largest will be just the opposite. Reading this backwards, 8, 6, 5, and 2. In between, there would be many numbers. So let us list two of them arbitrarily. 5, 2, 8, 6, and maybe 6, 8, 2, 5. When we add up these four numbers, first we add all digits in the units place, then in tens place, then in hundreds place, and finally in thousands place, isn't it? Now pick any one digit, say the digit 2, and look at its contribution to the sum. 2 in this number will contribute 2 into 1 to our sum because this is in the units place. In this number, 2 will contribute 2 into 10 to the sum because this 2 is in tens place. In this number, 2 will contribute 2 into 100 to the sum and in the first number, 2 will contribute 2 into 1000 to the sum. We will have a look at other digits later. But first, let's try to figure out the total contribution of digit 2 to our sum. Let us sum up the positional values of the digit 2 in all these numbers. So I hope this much is clear that in these 24 numbers, 2 can either come in the units place or in the tens place or in the hundreds place or else the thousands place. In how many numbers does 2 come in the units place? Well, if we fix 2 in the units place, the remaining 3 places can be filled with the remaining 3 digits in 3 into 2 into 1. That is 3 factorial or 6 ways. So there are 6 numbers where 2 comes in the units place. In each of these numbers, the contribution of digit 2 to the total sum is 2 into 1 because 2 comes at the units place. Therefore, total contribution of 2 in these 6 numbers where it comes in the units place is 6 into 2 into 1. 
Similarly, there would be six numbers where two comes in the tens place, six numbers where two comes in the hundreds place, and six numbers where two comes in the thousands place. Whenever two comes in the tens place, it contributes two into ten to our sum. Therefore, total contribution of all six numbers where two comes in this place will be six into two into ten. Whenever 2 comes in the hundreds place, it contributes 2 into 100 to our sum. Therefore, total contribution of all 6 numbers will be 6 into 2 into 100. Whenever 2 comes in thousands place, its contribution is 2 into 1000. Therefore, the total, total contribution of all these 6 numbers will be 6 into 2 into 1000. When we add up these four figures, we can take 6 into 2 common and these numbers 1, 10, 100 and 1000 will add up to 1111. Therefore, the total contribution of the digit 2 to the sum is 6 into 2 into 1111. Likewise, we can calculate the individual contribution of all other digits to the sum. So say we take digit 5 next. Summing up the positional values of 5, for each case listed here, there will be 6 numbers where the digit 5 occupies the respective place. If 5 comes in the units place, its contribution is 5 into 1. So total contribution of the 6 numbers is 6 into 5 into 1. And we can replace the digit 2 with 5 for the tens place, hundreds place, and thousands place as well. So total contribution of digit 5 comes out to be 6 into 5 into 1111. Similarly, let's make a table here and fill the contribution of digit 6, which will be 6 into 6 into 1111, and digit 8, which will be 6 into 8 into 1111 to our final sum. This table summarizes the contribution of all four digits to our sum. Next, we have to just add up these four numbers to find our sum of all 24 numbers. As you can see, 6 into 1111 is common in all rows. So in the brackets, we get 2 plus 5 plus 6 plus 8, which is nothing but the sum of all four digits that are given to us. Doing the calculations, our answer for the sum of all numbers will be 1,39,986. Now let us devise a general formula for any set of n distinct digits. If there are n digits, there will be n factorial numbers possible and any particular digit will occupy any particular position in n minus 1 factorial numbers out of these. So, when we sum up the positional values of all these digits, we get our sum as n minus 1 factorial into sum of all the n digits into 11111 n times. Like for 4 digits, it was 1111. For 5 digits, it will be 11111 and so on. Coming to our next case. This is a bit tricky because the digit 2 gets repeated. So even though our approach is same, the calculations will be different. And we can't use the general formula because it won't hold here. So first step is to estimate the total number of arrangements, the total number of four digit numbers that can be formed using these digits. So these four digits can be arranged in four factorial upon two factorial ways. We divide it by 2 factorial because one of the digits, the digit 2, gets repeated twice. There would be 12 numbers that can be formed using the given digits. Next, we will add up the positional values of these three digits for our sum. Still, keep in mind that the digit 2 gets repeated, so its positional values need to be calculated separately. The other two digits, 6 and 8 are similar as far as the calculations are concerned. So let's add up the positional values of 2. If we fix 2 in any of the places, 
Then in the remaining three places, we have to arrange the remaining three digits, which are 6, 2 and 8. These three digits, being distinct, can be arranged in three factorial, that is, six ways. So there will be six numbers each, where two occupies any particular place. Six numbers for two in the units place, six numbers for two in the tens place, and so on. Total contribution of 2 to our sum is just as we calculated earlier for the previous question. It will be 6 into 2 into 1111. However, let's sum up the positional values of other digits now. Say we pick the digit 6. After fixing 6 in any particular position, we need to arrange the remaining 3 digits which are 2, 2 and 8 in the remaining three places. These three digits can be arranged in three factorial upon two factorial ways because two of these digits are same. So this means three ways. That means our digit six occupies any of these positions or places in only three numbers for each place. So total contribution of six in units places, three numbers into six into one. In tens place, it is 3 into 6 into 10. In hundreds place, it is 3 into 6 into 100. And in the thousands place, it is 3 into 6 into 1000. Adding up, we get 3 into 6 into 1111 as our total contribution of the digit 6. We can replicate these calculations for the digit 8. Digit 8 is similar to digit 6, so there will be three numbers where digit 8 occupies any particular place out of these four. Total contribution of digit 8 to the sum is 3 into 8 into 1111. Rest is just calculations. Adding the contribution of all three digits to the sum, our answer comes out to be 59,994. So that brings us to an end of this video lesson. Hope the concept is clear to you now. If you enjoyed watching this video and found it useful, do press the like button and subscribe our channel for related content. Here is a glimpse of other maths videos on our channel. Stay tuned and take care. Bye-bye.